Hello, my name is Samuel Silva. I am a postgraduate student at the Department of Pathology in Federal University of Ceará, located in Fortaleza, Brazil. First of all, I would like to say thank you for your invitation to bring up a little bit about our research project that we recently published in Oncotaga Chodo. Uh, this project was developed by the leadership of Professor Fabio Tavaro, who is a professor associated to the Federal University of Ceará in, and also is a pathologist at Argos Laboratory in Fortaleza, Brazil. Initially, we aim to understand the expression of the aula 3 in small cell lung carcinoma. So, small cell lung carcinoma represents 15% of all the lung cancers, and although it's a very known disease by oncologists and pathologists, it's very challenging due to its fast progression and the lack of therapeutic approaches. Uh, so, in the last few years, it has been published some papers that look into a mechanism that leads to the tumor differentiation and the tumor progression uh, in the small cell lung carcinoma. So, uh, uh, one important pathway that has been shown is the interaction between DL3 and notch receptor. So, uh, DL3 has a role in, uh, blocking the notch receptor and leading to the overexpression of ASL1 protein. So, ASL1 proteins are not the protein that is related to the, no, to the neuroendocrine differentiation of the tumor cell. So, it, when it is activated, it can lead the progression, the differentiation of these tumor cells in small cell lung cancers. Uh, also, the DL3 protein is expressed only on tumor tissue, acting as a very good target for therapeutic approach in, in cancer. So, in this very year, in 2024, the FDA approved one uh, one drug that has as target the DL3 for the treatment of patients that are diagnosed with small cell, uh, small cell lung cancer in extensive stage. This is very promising. So, uh, in our study, we found that DL3 and ASL1 were expressed in most of the cases by immunohistochemistry, showing that uh, showing this uh, neuroendocrine activity related to this pathway, and also it shows that. Probably our patients could benefit of the anti dl 3 treatment. Another interesting thing that we found is the was the interaction, the relation between TTF1 and dl 3 So we found a uh, we found a statistical correlation between these two proteins, uh, showing that TTF1 could also has a role into this molecular mechanism. So, uh, TTF1 is usually used by pathologists for the diagnosis of uh, patients uh, in different tumors. So, uh, we found that TTF1 also had an impact in the overall survival, showing that probably uh, this marker could act as a good predictor of the tumor outcomes. So for our next steps, we want to look deeper in the molecular mechanisms that lead all these process into the tumor cells. So we want to look into the genomic and the transcriptomic landscapes and the interactions of all these molecules. Uh, to conclude, I want to say thank you to all the members of our research group. I also want to say thank you especially, especially to Professor Fabio Tavar and Professor Juliana Cordeiro who are essential to the development of this uh, of this research so thank you